Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be getting up my first Halloween tutorial. This is Los Lonely Bride. I couldn't decide if I want her to be angry or sad, so I gave her a little mix of both. <laughs> so jumping in, I'm going to prep my face. I'm going to do this first by using Benefits Professional, and then I'm going to go in with a lighter foundation just for a little bit of extra coverage as opposed to just using a white face paint. So the foundation I'm using is going to be about three shades, four shades lighter. If you want to use the white face paint on its own, go right ahead. Next, taking a white face paint and a dry, kind of like a beauty blender sponge, we're going to hit all the high points of our face so that they are more accentuated. The great thing about this makeup look is you can use it for any kind of zombie, vampire, dead person, anything like that. It's a basic universal dead person look. <laughs> so after we get all the high points of our face set, I'm going to go in with a powder. This is from Ben Nye Neutral Set, and I'm just going to set everything in place. Next, I'm priming my lids. You don't have to do this, but if you're going to use kind of like a grease paint or anything like that, it's just smarter so that you don't have tons of creasing throughout the night. Then I'm gonna go in with the color Warm Taupe from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm going to start contouring my face. So I'm going to do the sockets of my lids, I'm going to do my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose, and a little bit under my lip. We're gonna go back and forth with contouring. I just like to lay down a lighter color before we go in with the really dark colors. I'm just rounding out the contour around my cheek area so that those apples of our cheeks really pop forward. Taking the Makeup Forever Flash Palette, I'm going to go in with the black color. You can use a black face paint. And we're just going to pack this all over our lid. And then we're going to take a blending brush that has no product on it and work that product all over our lid. And then you get like this nice gray color here, but I wanted her eyes to be very dark. So I'm going to go in with a black shadow. The shadow I'm using is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm sorry I didn't point to it, but it's the black one in the palette. And it is the color Noir. And I'm just packing that all over the lid to intensify the darkness. Blending everything out, there's no extra product on this brush, I just want everything to be nice and smooth, and I'm really concentrating a lot of the color right underneath my brow to make our eyes look nice and sunken in. And of course, just take a bigger blending brush and fluff everything out. Back to the Make It Forever Flash palette, I'm going to take the red paint color, it's just like a grease paint, and I'm going to pack this on the center of my lid and then blend it out with a brush that has no extra product on it just to give a little more dimension and color in the eyes as opposed to them just being like jet black. This is a great way to make your eyes kind of look like bruised and just dark but not black. <laughs> Going in with the white color from the flash palette, I'm going to use this in my brows because my brows were just a little too intense for me. Um, I did go back in with brown, but apparently I didn't film it, so I just went in with brown and white to give them kind of an old, aged look. <laughs> Going back into the flash palette, I'm just picking up black and running this underneath my lash line. And in my waterline, feel free to use an eyeliner, I just didn't have one handy. And then after that, I'm just going to take a pencil brush and smooth everything out. Taking the color Rich Brown, I'm going to use a fluffier brush and start dragging the color down into the kind of bag region to make us look dark and tired and dead. <laughs> Go 
Going into my 120 palette from BH Cosmetics, I'm gonna pick up the red color and just dust it lightly on the center of our lids. And then we're also going to run it underneath our lower lash line as well. Just dragging this color down so it's like a gradient effect. I'm gonna go back into the 120 palette and just get a mixture of the browns in there. Any brown will do. And then just put this right underneath the red, blending the two together. Going in with the color Concrete from MAC, we're going to go back and start contouring and hollowing out our face a little more. So I'm just packing that color on right into the center of where my eye and the uh, bone of my nose meets. How do I describe that area? Obviously you see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to darken this up and contour the nose even more. Then going back with a neutral set from Ben Nye, I'm just running this around the areas that we just applied the brown and the red to underneath the eyes. It just blends and smooths everything out. Going back in with the color Rich Brown, I'm gonna use this to start intensifying the contours around our face. So we're gonna do our cheeks, our temples, our chin, and just kind of blend it on the nose a little. Taking our white face paint, I'm just going to intensify any areas that I feel like don't look really white. So just underneath our contours and I'm gonna take it down my neck and hit my ears and everything like that. Taking the color Deep Brown from Anastasia, I am going to intensify the contours even more. And for this, I'm just using a smaller fluffy brush so we get a really defined cheekbone. If you guys can tell the difference, how this side is popping out way more. Then I just took another contour brush and wanted to blend everything out to make sure there's no harsh lines. <laughs> Taking 134 lashes from Ardell, we're going to pop those babies on because even from the grave, I'm going to still rock a lash. Hey! Okay, for the lips, I'm gonna use Night Moth from MAC, and I'm going to extend my upper lip a lot at first, and then I realize, okay, it's just a little too much for me, so you'll see that I'll go back and uh, kind of shorten the length. But if you wanna rock it the long way that I originally have it, girl, you do it. It just kinda gives you that more creepy kind of look. Um, so after you line your lips, you're just going to want to fill them in. And then I just took a red lipstick and popped that into the center, but I do go over it with Night Moth to just darken everything up and make her more scary. <laughs> so yeah, see how long it is? I'm about to fix that right now and make it a little shorter and just, it, I feel like it goes better with the look with the wings being a little shorter on the lips. Nothing says dead like white contacts. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop in, these are Innocent White from Desio Eyes because my Halloween contacts haven't gotten here yet, but these will suffice. I'm gonna go in with our white face paint again and then just apply this all over our hands so that we blend better with our face. See? Better, right? <laughs> so this makeup is complete. Now I'm gonna go change into my outfit before we get bloody. <laughs> So I just found this costume online and I threw on a black wig because I really felt like it completed her. You can totally leave her makeup as is, but I love a little blood for Halloween. So I'm just going to use some Q-tips and a little fake blood and just create some sad, crying, lonely tears. Aww. And then 
I went ahead and just, you know, smeared some blood on me. I also went in with this Plains Dust from Ben Nye and sprinkled this all over my chest and on my hands to give me that, you know, rolling around in the graveyard look. This stuff is amazing. Um, but after that, this look is totally complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed my first Halloween tutorial. Oh, you know, you gotta slather a little more blood on and then she's done. So I don't have anything else to say except I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have sweet dreams and until next time I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!